sister Denise Stroud. God bless you. Peace and blessings to you. Brother Lamont Williams, God bless you. Shanita Ward, God bless you, baby. I see you. Who else we got on here? Sister Candace say, get me right, boo. <laughs> he getting me right, girl. He getting me right. Who else we got on here? Let me see. Taylor Jackson, God bless you. LaWanda Gibbs, God bless you. Kiki Caldwell, God bless you. Angela Tyler, God bless you. God bless you. It probably won't even let me see all the comments. Vera Smith, God bless you. Thank you. Dee Dee McLaurin, God bless you. Thank you so much. Peace and blessings to you. Praying for total healing and, and wholesome over your life. God bless you. Sister Nicole, God bless you. Yes, nobody but Jesus could do it. Nobody but Jesus could do it. If it, not, if it had not been for him, I would not be here like this, exposing myself right now. If it was not for the love of the Lord, I thank God that I'm finally all the way free. Hallelujah. Sister Yolanda Haywood, God bless you. Karen Martin, God bless you. Peace, blessings, and grace be multiplied in your life. Elsie Hester, God bless you. Thank you so much. Martha Thomas, God bless you. Jenny Kimber, God bless you. Vera Smith, God bless you, woman of God. Tuesday Tucker Page, God bless you. Let us know who you are and where you're from. We definitely want to speak a, a blessing over your lives. Amen. Amen. So we're going to go ahead. Can we talk to the people, baby? All right, all right. Got to turn down just a little bit more. Okay, let, let's go you ahead. Got to turn, turn down just a little bit Yeah, because I can't, you can't dance, talk, and shave my head. Hey, you know Because I'm, I'm not used to this yet. I'm gifted. Now, y'all might do all that in the barbershop, oh, but yes. I'm a newbie. Gotcha. I'm a newbie to the baldy now. Yeah. So I, you know, I don't want. I, I, I'm sensitive. I I'm sensitive you. about my my bald head now. I okay. Gotcha. I, I ain't gotcha. one of the guys in the barbershop now. You already know. Okay. I take gotcha. it easy with me now. Right. I just right, gotta right. get used to it. Okay. Got gotcha, you, All right. Gotcha. So listen, everybody. I, you know, I just, I'm, I'm I think I'm still kind of shocked about this. I don't even think reality has set all the way in. Okay, now remember in the middle, right here, right, right, right. you can feel like a little peach fuzz, like rub your finger right there. Just rub your finger. Can you feel a little peach fuzz? I Just see, a little. I, I see some peach fuzz. Okay, don't shave that. Right, right. Because right. I'm still believing in God. Right, right, right. I believe that God, if it's his will, mm -hmm. that I, I have to go through this right now to help bless and, you know, just help other women to first of all gain confidence uh -huh. um in self beauty okay to uh because we've been a slave to weaves and wigs for so long all right not even realizing that that is a spirit that has power over our lives wow and it has gotten so bad to where you know a lot of us have literally lost ourselves okay. in weaves and wigs and and the whole idea of what society uh, believes beauty is mm -hmm. so to be stripped all the way down to where I am right now um, you know this was the only way that God could show me my beauty from within okay. because all the last 25 years of my life I have been a slave to wigs and weave the right. last 25 years of my life and, you know, I want to make sure, because first of all, I got to let people know, this is not a result of cancer. Come on. This is not a result of lupus. Right. It's not a result. This is a result of disobedience. All right. This is a result of neglect and abuse that I caused right. on myself. You all are looking at a testimony right here. I don't want people to feel sorry for me because... The thing about it is, I have to get this out to let. And I listen. You guys can share this, especially to your young girl, young daughters. This is a result of sin. This is a result of a lifestyle of sin and disobedience. When I had hair, I misused it. 
When I had hair, I misused it. I talked about my natural hair because I did not like it. So I chose to wear weaves. I became so depressed. So all of that combined together, I spoke a curse over my own hair. Listen to what I'm saying. I spoke a curse over my hair. And I said, and I said to myself, I hated my hair because it was coarse. And back then, they used to call that nappy. Remember? That was before the whole natural thing came out. But back then, they used to call that nappy. So I used to say my hair was nappy. I did not like it. I had to get perms just for my hair to be able to um, comb through. I mean, that's how coarse my natural real hair was. And so with perms all these years, um, just tugging on my hair, Domestic violence, abuse, um, depression, yes. you know, anxiety, all of that stuff combined, literally, follicle by follicle, mm -hmm. has taken a toll on my hair. And I begin to just see my hair slowly, slowly perishing away. And instead of me seeing about it, I chose to continue to wear the weaves and the wigs because I had got so used to it and I just did not want to see myself without it. I never looked at myself and thought of myself to be beautiful outside of weaves and wigs. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? I never thought of myself to be beautiful outside of weaves and wigs. So weaves and wigs only did my hair even worse they literally just, just really, they, they, it was over with. You know what I mean? Like, they didn't help me out. People say protective styles and this and that. They didn't protect anything about my styles. <laughs> Do you hear me? They didn't protect anything about my styles. So what you all see now is I had to shave all of my, the rest of my hair because and all of my hair started coming out everywhere else. Everywhere else. It just started coming out in globs. And it got to the point where I could no longer even manage it at all. Period. So I used to be depressed more about seeing my hair come out than I am right now. Than I am right now. So for to have a husband that supports this, first of all, I want to say I am so blessed. And baby, I thank God for you, my best friend. If it was not for the Holy Spirit, I would not be able to do this. I would not be able to do this. I give God all the glory, all the glory. He gets all the glory for this. It took me to lose all of my hair for me to gain confidence and for me to understand what real true beauty is. I had to take a major loss, but I still thank God anyway. Because this was the only way that I was able to finally get free from wigs and weaves. This was the only way that I could finally get free. And when I tell you guys, I have never felt, oh my goodness, like I can't even explain it. I want to tell you women on here that are going through this right here. It's more women going through this than you all can imagine. Suffering in silence. Living in fear, living in a, a, a state of embarrassment because the hair may not be thick, it may not be, you know, long and silky, whatever it is. But let me tell you something. If you're living your life based on the fear of what other people may say and think about you, you are living a life in fear and bondage. You are living a life of fear and bondage. And Jesus came to set the captives free. And there's a key to every area of our life that he want to unlock in our lives. So I thank God even for my bald head today. Because if I have to wear a bald head to help bless somebody else, then Lord, let your will be done. Yes. Father, you get the glory for this. You get the glory. And, you know, some people may say, well, a woman's hair is her glory. That is true. A woman's hair is her glory. Yes. A woman's hair is her glory. It's not God's glory. Come on, now. 
Come on, somebody. A woman's hair is yes. her glory. Yes. But it's not God's glory. Hallelujah. And what we've done is we've worshipped and idolized our hair. Even to the point where we put on so much stress and tension on our hair trying to uh, hold an image that is never, it, it's not us. Hallelujah. It's not us. So, you know, I, I, I don't know if my hair would ever grow back. I prayed about it and all of that, but I am just content with if it grows back, so be it. If it doesn't, so be it. Either way it goes, I am free. And I thank God I'm free. So if I have to be free, the bald me, then just give God glory for, for being free. The bald me. <laughs> Amen. I am liberated. Amen. Oh my goodness. Let's talk about uh the fact that actually when we first got married, mm -hmm. tell the people how you used to actually hide. You know what I'm saying? When you, I, I dated never my... saw her hair. Never. I hid. Yes. For yes. what, like two years? Two years. Close to two, two years. years. I'm married to, to my wife. I never Well, seen I did show you, but yeah, you it know. I because but I showed you just a little bit. Right, right, right. <laughs> right, right, right. Probably showed you so fast, you right. know what I mean. But I spent two years dating mm -hmm. him mm -hmm. and not allowing him to um, look at my hair, That's true. to remove any bonnets off my hair or anything like that. I would not let him touch my right. hair, would I? No. I was so self-conscious about it, mm -hmm. and um, he never complained. He never complained about it. Nope. Not one time did he ever complain about it. And I was, I, but I always, in the back of my mind, I just knew I was like, you know, I can imagine my my husband, well, my fiance at that time, you know, just wondering like, is my is my wife gonna ever let me see <laughs> her hair, you know, or whatever yes, the case might yes, be. Yes. And um, that bothered me. That really bothered me. And baby, are you gonna? Can you like make? Is it gonna be or let you get like a like a little well, well, see, you shape got, or line you or got, it's not? You, you got a little something, something going, you know, and everything. You can you see it though? I can see it, and the people can see it too. They can't see that. All right, yes, they can. It's my wife, beautiful. You guys, come on. No, yes, no, no. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. I can say that. Yeah. Well, thank you, baby. Beautiful. Thank you, baby. Beautiful. But um. Tell people how you felt as a man. First of all, I'm doing this video, and mm -hmm. this is probably the last time we do this kind of video right here. Mm -hmm. My husband, really, he ain't, you know, just all mm -hmm. in it like that. But oh, nice. I thought it was important that I do this video because mm -hmm. I need the women to know that are experiencing this, that there are men out there yes. that will support you and love yes. you even in what you think is your darkest hour. Come on. You know, we we be in so much fear, not even realizing that there are people who will actually love and support you. Yes. And so as a man, baby, mm -hmm. um, I want you to encourage the women on here. It's easy for me to say that because I'm a woman, but I felt like they need to hear it from a man. When I told you that I was thinking about shaving my, my head, mm -hmm. what did you think? Well, what did you think? How did that, How did you feel? Well, you know, um, I, because I love you so much, you know, I really didn't think too much about it. You know, I, I just thought about as a husband what the Bible says. Mm -hmm. Husbands, love your wife as Christ loves the church. Love the church. So, you know, I just thought about that. You know, um, yeah. I just want to continue just to love you and support you no matter what, you know, because uh, beauty is just on the outside. You, true beauty is found on the inside. So you got brother. a bald head too. Show your bald head. We both bam, got bald. <laughs> bam, bam, I ain't the same mine. Hey, I we bald. We balding over here. We balding. Yeah. <laughs> we balding, y'all. Jesus. Man. Glory so, to God. So when I told you, and I was mm -hmm. like, because really I was like struggling with that for some time now. Like, mm -hmm. I may have to actually just shave all of my hair off. Right. And you, you, when I told you that my husband has a cousin. Yes. And, um. Shout out, shout out. To yes. My cousin. Yes. He has a cousin and he said, let me show you my cousin's wife. Hallelujah. And, uh, he was.
was like, she 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 has a shaved head, but she's beautiful. I was like, well, show it to me then. So he went to uh, his cousin's Facebook page and showed me his uh, cousin's wife. I saw that beautiful woman with that beautiful bald head. My husband was asleep. My husband had fell asleep. When I saw that beautiful woman with her bald head and how her husband and her, her kids were supporting her and they was taking beautiful family portraits, I got up out my bed, y'all, and came in this bathroom and I said, you know what? Tonight, I'm going to free myself. Glory be to God. Tonight, yes. when I saw her, it gave me what I needed to just say, you know what? It is what it is. I didn't know how I was going to look. But I just said, well, if she could be beautiful with hers, I'm going to have to take a chance with mine. <laughs> and I came and I went on YouTube. My husband was asleep. I didn't even tell him what I was doing. I went on YouTube and I Googled how to shave all of my hair off. And it took me about two hours just to get it. It was patchy a little bit, but, you know, I, 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 I went on and did the first step. And my husband, the next morning, he was like, what was you oh. doing in that bathroom? I left some clues. Yeah. <laughs> he, said, you, he said, you know I don't miss nothing. I had the broom. Yeah. I left the broom in the dustpan in the bathroom because yeah. I had to sweep all the hair up. And then what else did I leave? Oh, I left a razor on the on the counter. Yes. So he was like, you know I don't miss nothing. What, 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 what you do? What? I said, well, baby, I went on ahead and shaved all my hair off. And he was like, oh, okay. I didn't show him right then because yeah. I was still just a little bit, you know, shy about it. I said, I'm going to show it to you when, um, I said, let me fix myself up a little bit first and then I'm going to show it to you. Uh -huh. So what was it? Uh, later on? Yes. I said, you ready to see it? He Ooh. was like, yeah, I'm ready. So you guys, I say, well, it is what it is. And I came out, showed him. Ball head with that makeup on and them earrings. Yo. Bam! Bam. I was like, oh, oh! I said, oh! I, said, oh! I said, oh! I like that. But see, I don't wear a lot of makeup anyway. I've never been the type that just like wearing a lot of makeup. But I'm actually uh, into trying to learn how to apply eye makeup now because I want to enhance my features. Because I ain't got no hair to accessorize anymore. So I got to, you know, start looking into some things and learning how to apply my eyes and different things like that. So, but other than that, you guys, he he loved it. Yes. I showed my sons, my youngest son, I was like, I was like, son, uh, I said, your mom had to shave all her hair off. He was like, why? I was like, because it was just falling out, so I had to go bald. I said, you want to see it? And my youngest son was like, no, nah, I'm good. I said, wait a minute, hold up. I said, you don't want to, I said, you got to see it. <laughs> no, nah, I'm good. Uh, see, I'm going to tell y'all something. I really thought I was just going to look like this monster with no hair. And I was just so afraid of that. I was like, you know, people going to look at me strange. And I, the enemy was just trying to put in my mind that, you know, people are going to look, you're going to look like a monster out here in these streets. And uh, I felt like my son was afraid to see me like that. But I, I showed him and he was like, wow, mom, you look, you actually look good. I said, I look good with my bald head. He said, yeah. I said, okay, then. All right. See, you were scared to see your mom. He was like, I was, but I like it. So then I went and showed my older son. And he was like, I like it. I really like that. So, you guys, that's all I needed. My husband and my boys supporting me and telling me that I was still beautiful and they liked it. That gave me the confidence to go ahead and accept it. And uh, I told my husband, I said, well, I'm going to go on Facebook mm -hmm. and I'm going to post a picture mm -hmm. with, my, with my bald head because... It's going to take steps, you know, it's going to take steps. I haven't gone out in public like this yet. I wanted to do social media because social media is beautiful, brutal. <laughs> if you can get past social media, <laughs> come on somebody, y'all. I know I'm telling the truth.
Social media can be very brutal. And if you can make it past social media, then, I mean, hey, when it comes to uh, public criticism or whatever, you'll be able to, you know, survive. And I posted my picture. A lot of you guys saw it. And I'm so, I was overwhelmed. I was yes, crying. appreciate the love. The love. I was crying. I couldn't even respond back yes. to everybody. Like, I could not believe it. I wasn't expecting that at all. I'm, I'm still shocked. Yes. I'm still in shock at the love and support. Thank you. Thank not you. just from women, but from men. Thank you. And my husband not jealous. Yes. I told my husband, I said, baby, the men even saying I'm beautiful. And um, and I just thought that was that really blessed me because that showed me, like I told you guys, it's men out here, guys, that will still love you and support you and can still see the beauty in you even without um our hair. Hallelujah. So you guys have encouraged me. Um, I don't know when I'm going. I'm going to go out in public. I have a few speaking engagements in April, and I'm praying about doing my uh, domestic violence. I have to speak at a domestic violence um, event, and this is a part of my testimony. And I'm really thinking about, you know, I got. Hey, I just got to do it. It is what it is. I got to go ahead and, and speak, you know, with my with my bald head. But I don't want to wear wigs anymore. I, 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 I'm I just, I'm tired. I got tired. I've made these people rich. Well, I done set up here and live paycheck to paycheck. But then made the wig industry rich. Do you hear what I'm saying? And I can't tell you how much money I invested and things like that. So for me to just be able to just take everything off and say, you know what? That's it. I'm See? done. I'm I'm done. So I thank you guys so much for all of your encouraging words. I've been reading them. Even if I haven't had a chance to respond to all of it, I've been reading them. And uh, it has not gone. I'm grateful. I'm humble. God had to really humble me all the way because I was a type of woman before I got saved. I was off the chain. I used my beauty then when I was full of weave and all that to manipulate men and all kind of stuff. And I started, I told my husband, I said, I think I've been cursed. Didn't I tell you that? I said, I think the Lord done cursed me because of the way I, the way I misused what he blessed me with. And, uh, you know, so I said, well, I just said, you know what? It just is what it is. I'm going to have to just live with this. But God said, I want to use every inch of you for my glory. I want to use every inch of you. To be honest, I actually did not want to have to share anything dealing with my hair as part of my testimony. And the Holy Spirit said, your hair situation is a major part of your testimony and you're going to have to share it. He said, you can't go out here and preach freedom to the masses until you get all the way free. He said, you can't get up there hiding behind wigs and preaching freedom Lord. and inner beauty to people until you get all the way free. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory. And I believe that's why God did not allow my hair to grow back because if I had a if he'd have blessed me back with my hair, I would have still living, been living with a, a um, perception of vain beauty. You see what I'm saying? I would have still been living with the perception of vain beauty. So, I, you know, I said, Lord, I thank you anyway. I'm alive. Hey, I'm still here. Glory be to God. And my husband loves me anyway. That's all that matters. Amen. Amen. So, uh, baby, just... What you guys think? Is my husband doing a good job? He done, he done, <laughs> he done smoothed me on out, y'all. He done smoothed me on out. I didn't have enough practice on my head. So yeah, hey, you, you didn't have enough saying? practice on your head. Woo so, yeah. So I want to remind the people again, this is not a result of cancer or uh -huh. lupus or anything like that. Hallelujah. This is a, this is a result of disobedience, of, of, of domestic violence, of abuse to my head. Um, you know, just living a life of sin 
And over the years, over the last 25 years, I just abused my hair. I, 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 you know, I did not take care of my natural hair like I should have. And I wore weaves and wigs for so long that it just literally destroyed um, my hair. Mm -hmm. It just started destroying my hair. And I was blind to it. I ignored it. I ignored it. I want to tell you women, if you still have your hair, you need to hold on and you need to, you know, don't misuse your hair. Don't misuse what God has given you because no woman wants to be bald purposely. Hallelujah. No woman wants to be bald forcefully. Now, if people want to do it for a fashion statement, that's different. But you have a lot of women who don't want to be bald forcefully. And women who cannot grow their hair back, that is depressed. That's, that's, that will pull you into a state of depression. When you cannot grow your hair back. You see what I'm saying? If you can cut your hair and grow it back. But when you can't grow it back. You got to learn how to live with it. Hallelujah. And it changes your whole life. My life did a turn. But it didn't turn me. Woo! Oh, <laughs> Ow. My life did a turn. Woo. But oh, it did turn me. Hey! Hallelujah! Oh, yeah. My God. So it took this for me to finally see me. I've never seen me. I've been seeing somebody else. But for the last 25 years of my life, I looked in the mirror and I still never saw me. And this is me. Hallelujah. This is me. And I, 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 I can't believe I'm seeing the me. The gorgeous you. Thank you, baby. The awesome you. Thank you, baby. Woo-woo. So I, I, I thank you guys so much. Yes. Um, this is truly a journey. Uh, I don't know. Maybe my hair grow back one day. I don't know. But so be it. Lord, let your will be done. Yes. Let yes, your will be done yes, through yes, me. Yes. So how can, we follow, how can we follow this hair journey that you're now on? Well, um, I started a Instagram. I just started it. Uh, let me just try to get everything, you know, kind of built up to it. Um, what I want to do is I want to encourage women weekly. Yes. Get beauty tips. And women have been doing this. Yes. You know, women have been doing this, but I need to let women know my story. You understand how I got this way. So for other women who who can relate to me and can admit to, you know, I, I did my hair wrong. And this is the result of it. You know what I mean? Really a lot of people don't want to admit to that. They don't want to admit to... I am the reason why I lost all my hair. Not no disease or illness. You see what I'm saying? Yes. But because of my neglect, because of my wanting to wear weaves and wigs all the time. You see what I'm saying? So I need to get that story out so I can help other women, and especially young girls that want to sit here and look like these superstars and all that. Let Come me on. tell you something. You need to be you. Hallelujah. Come on. You need to be you. Yes. Because you do not want your end result to be this if you can help it. Glory to God. You don't want this to be your end result if you can help it. Or you're going to have to learn to live with it. Glory to Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. So I love you all so much. And not just black women been reaching out. Um, white women. I mean, people from all over this nation Yes. People been inboxing me saying that they've been inspired and that they're going to actually shave their hair. Now they've been holding on. You know, we try to hold on to little strands, but baby, you might as well let them strands go. <laughs> you might as well just let that go because that will make you more depressed than just going on and letting it go. You see what I'm saying? Yes. So freedom, freedom indeed. Yes. So before we get off of here, you guys, uh, baby, just tell the women from a man perspective. That it is being out here that would still love them for them and not just look at the outer beauty. Because that's the main reason why a lot of women do not want to come from up under the weaves and the wigs. Praise God. I just want to encourage um, my sisters out there this. That yes, through the power of the Holy Spirit, I have to give all praise to God. Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. And through the power of God's Holy Spirit, I'm able to love. Agape. Agape. So, my, to all my sisters, you be encouraged. 
If a man cannot love you for who you are, your true beauty, just, just, you know, he may not be the one. But if he is the one, praise God, through God's Holy Spirit, listen to me, woo, through God's Holy Spirit, that man will love you, that man will stick by you, because beauty is on the inside. And you have the kingdom of God on the inside of you. Oh my God, I feel the Holy Spirit right there. The kingdom is within you. Trust God. Woo! You better. I, I'm stopping right there. Be encouraged, my sisters. Yes. A man will love you for you. Yes. This is my husband, Minister Lavaris Morton. I'm Prophetess Morton. We love you all so much. We want to keep you all in prayer. Let's go ahead and just pray for the people. Father, in the yes, name God. of Jesus. Thank you, Father. My, 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 my. Hallelujah. Father, I pray over these that are under yes, the sound Father. of my voice right yes, now, God, Lord, God. That women who may be suffering Hallelujah. from within, God. Right now, I pray God. that, Lord, that you have not allowed yes, my Father. situation to be in vain, God. Yes, but that you will use me to help go and be a blessing to somebody else. Thank I you, decree and declare over their lives, in God, the that Jesus. those who are listening to me right will now. understand. Understand that beauty comes yes, from within God, God and Hallelujah. that if they would just tap in to yes, your spirit oh, God, that you will you. set them free you, because Lord, whom God. the son makes free Hallelujah. is free Hallelujah. indeed God thank God you, you want people to be released yes, so I speak a release right Hallelujah now. freedom over your life Jesus. loose the bonds of wickedness yes, from off of your life right now you, that God. even if you have to lose your hair Hallelujah. you have not lost your life yes, in the name of Jesus yes, because there is no other freedom than to be free from the opinions Glory. of men, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we are free from bondage now yes, in the name of Jesus. You, and Lord. if you have not been having the strength hey. to go and just let it go, Hallelujah. I'm telling you that let it go and let God. Let it go and let God. In the name I decree and declare over your yeah. life that those who have hair Hallelujah. that may be losing it, that God will restore yes, your God. hair, that your yeah, follicles will be God. able to live again. You, I speak Lord. life over your yeah, hair right yes, now. God. I speak life over right your now. follicles In right now. And Father, I ask that you forgive us, God. Hallelujah. Forgive us for misusing what you blessed yeah. us with, God. Forgive us, God, for not Thank handling. God. Hallelujah. And not realizing that Thank beauty God. is from God. within. God. Holy Father, I ask that you forgive us, Lord. Yes, Holy Let Spirit. your will be done in our lives, God. Yes, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You said Holy death Holy and life God. is in the power of our tongue. Yes, I speak Spirit. life over these women's right hair now, right now. That full Jesus. restoration. Right Hallelujah. Now, when their hair will regrow. Yes, Lord, natural and beautiful Hallelujah. and thick, God. In Jesus' name. We believe it. In Jesus' name. And we declare it to be In so. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Woo! Hey, 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 hey. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Hey, hey. Oh! My, 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 God. Angelia Wilson, God bless you. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. Give me a hey, God. Ooh. He about to. Uh, <laughs> Bye, y'all. We love you guys. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah.